Do not be misled by the fact that these four bandits are female. Twelve thousand dollars in ninety seconds. Woo! All right, y'all. What's up? What's up? Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Because I'm not sure if I can. Hear no <laughs> how's everybody doing tonight this is 90s nostalgia we're gonna be talking about set it or i got a couple of i got a lot of fun facts and i got some trivia and we're gonna have some fun tonight i got pretty girl you know look we we doing the heist too y'all see us on the thumbnail with our sunglasses wigs and sunglasses eight in our disguises so you know the girls got together and we like i said i wanted to make this a fun event and they 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 made it possible what's up pretty girl moochie what is the procedure when they're watching a review of set it off what is the you're procedure i think it's like what is the procedure <laughs> you're supposed to like share subscribe you're supposed to put us up in that algorithm baby okay <laughs> So our, our third one is coming, but she parking a getaway car. Okay, so she's yeah. coming. Take time, but you know, you know, she, we she gotta hide the car because you know we making moves now tonight. Yes. We making a heist on YouTube. Doing set it off. What's up, y'all? <laughs> okay, now if you have not, I repeat, if you have not scrolled up to the top cast your vote now being that when this movie first came out everybody was bigging up queen latifah with the role that she played as cleo and i felt like i do you think she, oh i did two l's in this y'all i always be catching my dog on typos pretty girl but anyway y'all know what i'm trying to say Mm -hmm. Do you think Queen Latifah deserved an Oscar for playing the role as Cleo? Cast your vote, and we'll, you know, ch chart it out at the end. All right, so pretty girl, what is your most nostalgia for this movie? Um, t Tell us what you like most about, about Set It Off. Because well, I didn't have to twist your arm to come on here, so go ahead. <laughs> to my knowledge, you know, I've this is the first movie I've seen of this sort, you know, for African-American women, you know, bank robbers, you know, this is kind of like a thriller heist, you know, dramedy. <laughs> um, so this was the first of its kind. Of course, this came out when I was a lot younger. So this was the first time, you know, me seeing it with my eyes. So it, it definitely proved that, you know, there is a, a space for diversity and diversified uh, roles and scripts for women like me. You you on mute, Moochie. <laughs> I said this was a movie that made you wanna wanna do acting because it, it some of these some of us could identify it with the girls in these movies, in yeah. this movie particularly. Yeah. And where did you fit in with this? Which character was kind of like you? Oh, who would I fit in the most? That's hard because I see myself 
and almost everybody, well, pretty much everybody on some level. Like I feel like uh, Vivica, she had that, you know, that mixture, you know, she can do a corporate job, but she from the hood, you know? Uh, sorry, not Vivica. Sorry, let me use their... <laughs> Frankie, let me say Frankie, Frankie mm -hmm. okay? And then Stoney, aka Jada, you know, she had that maternal uh, instinct. You know, she had to take on, you know, siblings and, you know, family members. So I, I felt that part, you know, when you have to uh, pretty much um, sacrifice and do what you have to do for others, um, as well as TT. You know what I'm saying? She's, you know, trying to figure out a way um, to make things happen. And then with Cleo, because, you know, <laughs> if you need to pop off sometimes, you got to pop off on people. <laughs> So um, I, I do identify with them on some level, but probably the most, I would say probably Frankie. Okay. I'm going to say with me, it's a combination between, I want to say Stoney and Frankie for the simple fact is the way she backed out of there when everything was going, I know I could drive a car like that. I would be the getaway driver, even though Miss K is taking the duties right now. Because, you know, we did the swap. So I had the getaway vehicle. So she parking our real thing. And then we're going to get up out of here later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let me see what the chat who's here so far. It's not people here you know what i didn't share it let me share it because i've been moving 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 i've been busy so i'm gonna share this in my um can you share this in the community tabs pretty girl if it's if yeah. you know you know if it's not too much trouble no 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 because i know people's here people coming hey monique 69 ways okay i hope i'm not too loud am i too loud i'll be worried about that Of course, my service acting up. I'm trying. I'm trying. I know my internet went out yeah. too for a couple of minutes. I, I, I was like, man, I hope I can make it for this. <sighs> they hating on us, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Everybody want to talk about. Yeah, yeah, look, just hit the hit the subscribe, hit the like, you know, hit the share. Put us up in that algorithm, y'all. Yeah, we trying to um do this tonight, but. I got, um, okay. Cleo didn't need an Oscar for it. She was better in beauty shop. Really? <laughs> I think she was playing herself, to be honest with y'all. So that's why it was so easy. Yeah. I don't think at the time we realized it, you know, because mm -hmm. we probably at this point, we were probably just used to, you know, you and ITY and living single. You know, we think, oh, this is such range for her, but. This is probably her true self, but she found it probably a lot easier and probably was kind of therapeutic to kind of, in a sense, kind of come out in her own way, even though she never truly really, you know, came out, nor does she have to. But I definitely agree. All right. So, look, I'm trying to hold off on the trivia. So we're going to um, start out with the whole the, the beginning, I like the way the beginning started off because it started off with action and then it, it was like, where do we go from here? So what was your take on the first, on the opening scene? And, and you know, I want you to break it down for us because, you you know, you got your way of telling things too. I love the way you be telling your things. So go, go, go. Well, we see... Frankie here, you know, she is in a situation because she's at work. She clocked in thinking it's going to be a regular day. And lo and behold, she see, you know, a couple dudes she know from around the way. And of course, you know, when, when your work life and your home life clash, you know, it's kind of, you know, you get a little nervous, especially people from your home life, you know, ain't up to no good. <laughs> so you could tell you she know? was peeping. It was Darnell and Lorenz, you know, they was over there in the bank. She's, you know, dealing with her customers and of course coincidentally darnell <laughs> goes to uh her particular um her line and he tries to stick her up and <laughs> she's and this is the thing right looking back because i haven't seen this in a while right it's one of the movies that we've seen multiple times but when you haven't seen it in a while you have another lens you kind of looking at it right so 
she refuses to kind of follow procedure because I I think she's trying to save Darnell and Lorenz from the situation. She don't want them to go down. So she's trying to talk them off the ledge. Like, no, I don't want to do this. Like, please. Like, she's low-key begging them not to. But, of course, it seems like they, they may have some, you know, substance issues or what have you. <laughs> or they got trigger fingers. And next thing we know, <sighs> Darnell gets impatient. And it turns into a, a, a cluster, you know what? <laughs> and it, it, it costs the lives of several people. And of course, I don't know how far you want to go, but it ends up, you know. Just, just stay stay in the pocket yeah. right where we are. Because okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go too far because well, I do have a trivia question. I'm glad you kept it right there because the trivia question comes in. And for some reason, she's saying she didn't get the link. And I know. Oh, I know. Oh, well, I sent it, it to her. her. I'm doing it. Right, I'm doing it right now. Okay. I thought I could have sworn I sent it to her earlier. All right, I made a mistake. I thought I did. There you go. Yeah, she's like, look, I'm gonna park the car. And you got me out here in the street, and the block is hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there she go. <laughs> look, you finished parking that getaway car. It was traffic. Yep. <laughs> Everything's okay. So we're going to be there able to dip out of here after this live and go back to our perspective places, right? That's right. All right everything's good, all right? <laughs> What's up? It was uh, the thumbnail you sent me because I clicked on it. I'm like, what the heck? I thought I sent, I, I thought I sent it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. What's happening? But I, what, I what think was the problem with, my, with the internet right now, but I want to know from you, Miss K. Oh, shoot. What, I forgot my note. Sorry. Go what ahead. is the nostalgia that you get with this movie when you watch it? And, and you could stay right here with this scene and don't go any further. I want you to talk about that, too. So you the can talk nostalgia. about like what did you what did you like about what what was the best part of this movie and who can you identify with? Which girl? Can you identify with? Are you a combination between two, or are you just are you one person? Mm. You get the question. Of course. <laughs> oh, um, I, I, I don't like know. I feel like I probably could identify more with Stony because she's more like a um, you know, she's trying to do the right thing. She wants to get out the hood, this and that. Um, but as far as like how bossy she was, she's kind of like the take charge kind, and she's like this little thing. But not that that matters. But I don't, you know, other than that, I don't think I could, I might be able to identify a little bit with, um, uh, what is her name? Tashawn. Tashawn. A little I bit. I said that too. Yeah. I, you would because, have to be the person. <laughs> yeah. What, for to, to be Tashawn? I'm going to get, I don't want to put on my track shoes. I'm going to wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I, I said, when I saw this movie, I know, I said, what she said, I felt like she could be a combination between two people. I said I'm a combination between Frankie and Stoney. You said mm -hmm. you so I want to say you kind of saying you a combination between Stoney because sometimes and if Titi. somebody gets you there, you be getting you you'll take yeah. it there. Yeah. You'll defend yourself. I know you will, Miss mm -hmm. K. So you're a combination between Tashawn and Stoney. So yes. I, I kind of pegged that as <laughs> And, and pretty girl, tell her who your um combination was, like you said. Yeah, I felt I, I identify with all of them on some level, but I would say more uh Frankie and uh Stony. Um, uh, but I could I could be a little bit of Cleo, you know, if 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 the if, if it's taking it. Near. <laughs> I don't want to okay. bring Cleo out, but yeah. <laughs> all right, so we talked about the first scene with the with them coming into the two here, and she knows them from around the way. And she doesn't want it to go down. I got my first, this is the first trivia question, y'all. Mm. How many people were taken out with the first bank robbery and what happened in the movie? How many? Mm. Okay. Is that for the chat or for us or for everybody? Y'all could put it in the private chat. Oh, okay. Let me see what the okay. the. Uh... I would have to like literally do the numbers. Okay, so um, 
Okay, I think. I don't know. Let me see. I'm giving it time because you know it's delayed. So, hey, Inga. Niecy's close, but no cigar. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Oh, so if she, I said that, so that was wrong. Then if she's close with no cigar. <laughs> no, I think y'all right. I think y'all, it was actually two people. That's it? Uh, that's, it's, it's three, two it's more people. Three. It's four. It's four. Oh. It's the guard, yeah. these two, and the lady. And remember the lady. the lady? So it's four of them. I don't remember, remember the, the um, guard, yeah. The, the guard was pow pow mm -hmm. through the arm um, oh the yeah through the shot. thing i remember yeah because yeah. he shot because he shot um the one up he shot this one down below uh -huh. and then that's when i think darnell shot him over one of them shot him uh, okay right yeah, four. okay so yeah okay can so i be got... excused i need to go get my notes go get your notes <laughs> and we're gonna move on to the next scene so okay. next so oh oh wait I can i like say something real quick about um darnell yeah. My thing that I did not like about this scene is that Darnell was acting like he had hella animosity towards um, uh, Frankie. And I'm like, why are you acting so like upset with her? Like she did something to you. This is a girl from around your hood and everything. And you just acting like you angry with her. You come into her workplace and like, I guess he just expected her to just do whatever she told him to do. Yeah, but he like, you think this a game? Yeah, so I just I was like, oh, like you really you you mad? <laughs> I just, okay, I so while you go get your so notes, we gonna that. we gonna do a fun fact real quick. Okay, okay, so let me mm. let me give you all the fun fact. Um, I don't want to miss the fun fact. <laughs> no, I hold on, I'm trying to get it up right now. Hold up. Uh, Hey, chat. So, um, my stuff is getting stuck now. Ooh, okay. All right. Let me go back to here. Go back to here. Go back to here. Did I miss anything? No, no. you didn't miss nothing, girl. I'm still trying to, you know, I'm slow. I'm a slow poke. I'm a slow poke. I'm trying to, okay. Did y'all know that um Chili was supposed to be placed on Mm-mm. No idea. Yeah. That, that, that was a fun fact. Chili was supposed to be the, uh, play the character of Stoney. No, I got, I got to read them because I didn't put it up because I got other, I got a whole bunch of stuff loaded and it's going to slow it down. Chili well, um, from TLC. Chili from TLC was supposed to play do that. the character. I'm glad they didn't either. I <laughs> think that would have messed up the the, the thing because we never saw her act. Mm -mm. But she was supposed to play Stoney, y'all. Wow. So that was one of our fun facts. I didn't like the attitude that the mm -hmm. that the detective had strode towards towards Frankie because she he basically accused her from the get go mm -hmm, yeah. because of the conversation that somebody probably said she knew them, but she already said she didn't want to have anything to do with this, and you know one of her coworkers got taken out, and it was like she didn't have she was just messed up. Another a true or false question, or, or not even a true or false. What did what did Frankie say to Walla, the female detective? Do you know the next one? Ask me if I was thirsty, sister, or something mm -hmm. like that. Oh, okay, you got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I um I thought they gave her a bad rap from the get-go, from the from the jump. Mm-hmm. And this they had a 70 theme graduation party for Tony's brother, Stevie. And this is the same, I believe this is the same night that the whole thing happened, the same day that everything happened, because they don't know what happened with Frankie yet. And right here, if you was watching it for the first time, you didn't even know they were together like that unless you saw the trailer or whatever the case may be. The they lady, was friends. Yeah. Her yeah. friend, her co-worker. Okay. 
I may have taken periodic breaks because this movie is very emotional for me. You know what? I did cry, y'all. I cry. I always cry with this movie. Sometimes I can't even watch certain parts because it, it it's like a it's a buddy, it's a bonding movie with for females. But even though they're doing wrong, they still had a friendship. And and mm -hmm. it was like childhood friendships, and it was a lot of a lot of bad stuff that happened in this. And they really did. Some of them didn't really see a future for themselves. They were in outside of LA, different things like that. That was the sad part about it. What was y'all? Yeah, take this is not a movie that I like to watch again. Yeah, it's <laughs> things. No, but I like to watch certain things for certain, like certain parts of it, just for the nostalgia. But I know mm -hmm. it's, it's a sad thing. But what? Uh, um. Okay, no, I'm, I'm going ahead of myself. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> He has guilt already because he knows he didn't make it into college. But it's like, I felt like if he would have told him, her the truth, I don't think it would have went as bad. You know how some kids, some people make it worse than what it is because people set expectations on you? Mm -hmm. um, let me... Uh, do y'all have anything y'all want to say about this scene or we could move on? I don't think yeah. I have nothing about this. Yeah, yeah, it seems like, well, it seemed like, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Miss K. Um, <laughs> it seems like his mood shifted when um, Cleo mentioned his parents. So that's what I initially thought was kind of a somber, you know, kind of dampened his mood until a little later on. But this whole situation with Stevie in college, there are a lot of questionable things. Because mm -hmm. he's a January graduate, mm -hmm. meaning he didn't okay. graduate on time. I don't think he graduated early. <laughs> the, so do you like think he graduated at all? all? That's the question. I'm sorry. I said, do what? you think he graduated at all? He had to. She was going. She they was ready to, for him to go to college. That that was his graduation party, the '70s graduation party. Okay. He just that that the issue was that he didn't get accepted into whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He's supposed to be going to PLA. Yeah, and he didn't get accept. He didn't get accepted, and like you were saying, pretty girl, he had a. He started to turn like his whole attitude started to turn when the parents were mentioned. But I think it was also because her main his sister's main thing was to get him to college, mm -hmm. and he knew he had all that other stuff going on that he mm -hmm. wasn't. Mm -hmm. He wasn't trying to go. Mm -hmm. Moving on. I got some extra issues with certain stuff that's coming up, but we get there. <laughs> Definitely gonna get there. <laughs> Let's go. She's involved. As soon as she's walking out, she's involved. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that aggravated me. How that yeah, aggravated like how? me too because it was like you he didn't even like really question her. He asked her about the procedure, and then from there on, he um he asked her about the procedure, and then as far as the procedure went, he uh just jumped to conclusion and considered just because they lived in the same area, she's with it. She's in mm. she's a part of it. Yeah. I yeah. thought I thought she got a raw, I thought Frankie always got a raw end of the deal. Yeah, it was just pure racism to me, but you know, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> trying exactly, and it, it was undertones of it in this mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, I, I didn't agree with her getting fired and stuff, but I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's a that's a if I'm trying to look at it through the you know the Compromise. boss's perspective, no, the boss, like uh -huh. the fact that you knew the the people didn't sit well with me. You know, I kind of probably would be feeling a little leery as well, like. Hey, you knew the, you know, but but then you have to kind of think about the person. Like she's always this way, always that way, da da da. But like if you watch true crime and all that, like people would be yeah. good for a long. Time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she no, might yeah. have to get fired. I don't know. I might no, have to I put in the transfer to a lower bank or something, girl. But you got to go. Can't be here. <laughs> no, yeah, I felt that same way. I will be well from their perspective. They're like thinking, oh, we hired this. You know, we think she's one of the good ones. Mm -hmm. You know, they probably don't, you know, rarely hire, you know, ethnic women. And then the one they did hire, 
you know, probably in, in their head, probably ended up turning out just like the rest of them. Just mm. so good. That's how how the boss was coming off to me. Yeah, but the crazy thing is, see, if you heard the the com the stuff that Stony was not Stony, what's her name, uh, right. Frankie, the stuff she was saying to Darnell, it was kind of like they were in a different side, you know, another part of town, because mm -hmm. she was like, I don't think I ever seen you, and he was like, shut the f up, you know, like she trying to make. <laughs> She's trying to make small talk. So it sounds like they're not even, you know, close to the hood or nothing like that. <laughs> so, like these niggas are ventured out and said, hey, let me go to freaking uh, Frankie's job. Like of all banks, really? Well, you couldn't respect me enough bank. not to go to, to a different bank, my nigga? Well, I don't even think they got, got no account to be uh, <laughs> to go on anybody's bank. So they just, well, yeah, I, that's, I, it was a that's bad luck to draw. Too. So let me ask y'all this. She probably worked kind of far from the hood where she asked the question like that. Like, what you doing yeah. all the way over here? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it seemed like to me where, like, yeah. what you doing over here? You like, huh? Right. Because <laughs> you honestly do have to work for, uh, further away because people be trying to get hooked. That's how people are. They want to get hookups. They want to get jobs. All yeah, that, you're like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, this is the question now before we start, because I know I, I don't want somebody to give it away. What was Luther greeting to the girls? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Who can imitate yeah. Luther? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can. Go I ahead, really don't do that. Go <laughs> ahead. You know you <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> I can't right now. It's not like it's not like really like you know okay. the grains in the head. I'm gonna it <laughs> yes, that Ooh. was too. This one when he says that AP, what does AP stand for? Mm -hmm. And he, he but that's that, that really be with stuff like this. When he said this, I forgot to mention this. When he was like, "What does AP stand for?" And he was like. Asshole, perhaps <laughs> mm -hmm. they so corny, they're little but, corny cop jokes. I know, but right? that's how they are, though. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. we used to talk about fair beaters like that. <laughs> you know, how people always get on the bus all the time that don't pay. Mm -hmm. We be like, well, This one don't never pay. <laughs> Sometimes I ain't even used to wait. If it's him only in the stop, I used to leave. I ain't picking them up. <laughs> <laughs> Moving <laughs> on. Oh, <laughs> Like, I, okay, I'll do it, y'all. <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know why you would have had not. Y'all, she thought she was getting paid under the table. And then he was like, who forgot to take out the recyclables in room 104? Whatever number it was. And he was like, I'm docking your pay. Uh-huh. <laughs> He was mean. He like, was. He, he was, really was. Shut the f up and this that. I'm like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, never had nothing. So rudely. I know he was rude. He was rude. <laughs> like, damn, listen. So now they back in the hood. Everybody knows that Frankie. Well, I'm, when I say everybody, I mean the girls. They all know what happened to her. They know she lost her job, and. Now, you know, we see Cleo's car. Her car is all torn up, and she had this car a long time. The homies mm. is teasing her because her, her car ain't hooked up yet. But, mm. you know, she working on it. What yeah. was y'all thoughts about this whole around the way scene? And I want y'all, y'all could go all the way up to, to Nate. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Pretty girl could go. Um, right. Yeah, it just, you know, we just was able to see the camaraderie between the women and, you know, kind of see their initial issues per se, you know, what their, uh, you know, we see TT, she, you know, have her baby. So it looks like she's a single mom. We learned that, you know, Cleo, you know, her sexuality and Ursa seems, Ursula seems like she got an attitude, don't want to talk to nobody. But I, I felt like, is more Ursula was more so like a res, not a respect thing, but I don't know. It seems like 
Cleo possibly is one of those lovers that she don't want you talking to nobody. Like, you know, mm -hmm. just one of those possessive type of like, you better not look at my girls. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I was kind of getting that. That's, I mean, I may be reaching, but that's kind of the vibe I was getting. Like, Ursula was like, mm -mm, I ain't trying to mess up, you know, what I got going on. So I ain't going to talk to nobody. <laughs> Head going to be mm -hmm. down. Everybody's invisible. Um, and then, you know, we see, you know, Frankie just over there chilling. We kind of see the, um, I don't want to say the switch up, but, you know, we saw her in the bank, you know, at work. Now we see her chilling with her home girls, which, you know, a lot of us, you know, do because, you know, feel like sometimes in the corporate world, we have to show, and not really say a show a different side of ourselves, but, you know, you got to you gotta play switch quick. a little bit. I was you know? just going to say that. Yep. Yeah. that is, this is cold switching. <laughs> If if you work at an office or any type of corporate, you got you you know how to cold switch. We cold switch our voices, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we are very professional when we speak. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, the cold switching was going on here, y'all. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the what was y'all look? Go ahead, Miss Kate. <laughs> <laughs> we already know. Look, we already know Stevie don't got didn't get accepted. So you know, Stoney's trying to make it happen. Well, he didn't get the at this point. I thought I think he told her she didn't get this. He didn't get the, he didn't get the scholarship. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so she got to come up with the tuition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and and he ain't asking her to either. She just saying you going, you getting out of here. But like just the fact that this man who is he it like he's just around and he's got his eyes on her and all and oh this this all of this bothered me all of this and then also the whole fact that Ursula don't speak that's annoying that was just annoying like you could say hi like girl don't be silent and they even say like girl she don't speak what's wrong with her you know but anyway <laughs> um <laughs> the whole thing with Nate like I don't like how she did it continue to maintain her control like you know she's like i'm in a bind he's like oh some other time because she's like i'm in a bind he's like some other time or whatever because she's like she wants her money up front and he's like i'm not getting you you know anything or whatever until i'm done with doing what i'm doing and i just thought it was just disgusting and um you know she got what she needed out of it but i don't want to jump ahead i just I think that she was a whole she resorted to this yeah, and I think she was a whole idiot, honestly. Like, I don't want to jump ahead, like I said. So, okay, okay, yeah. I mean, so, we, look, go ahead. Um, no, this was disgusting, but <laughs> being look, real, this is all right, but gonna... this was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna ask <laughs> no man for something and not expect him not to want something of me. It's disgusting, but you're asking for probably thousands of dollars. You ask it for an advance for a job. I'm not sure you're even capable of doing. I'm just strictly hiring you off of looks and probably not experience. So, I mean, at the same time, yeah, he's wrong for asking that of her. But if you're going to put yourself in a position to be at someone's becking call, you have to understand that you know, he may ask something of you that you may not want to give up. It's wrong, but that's what I'm saying. That's why she should have kept it moving. She gonna yeah. get out the car. She gonna get out the car, and then so I'm in the buying a This then still gonna get in the car. Like, girl, keep it, keep walking. And you shouldn't have went over there in the first place. Like, she went over there she, so she could get a job. Went over there. Yeah, though. that's something. Like, it was just I was. It was. It was disappointing. I mean, you ain't gonna tell me that there ain't no financial aid at that time. You're not gonna tell that's me that. That's what I'm saying. But, like, you really didn't know about that. Man. But the brother it, wasn't it, communicating, and that's that's on him too. Like he probably was saying, you know, going along with the scholarship option. And if he mm -hmm. would have been honest, or you if, know, if as well as her, I mean, I don't know if she knew a lot about the college process, but you can do both things simultaneously. You can apply for financial aid and also apply for scholarship. So mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the ignorance on her behalf, not knowing the you know the options, or she was just merely banking on him getting a scholarship because I'm I'm gonna probably assume he may be in sports. Um but yeah this is this is crazy. <laughs> what she did after the fact was what made it worse. Yes. We 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 gonna get there. Mm -hmm. So now Frankie is working with them 
but she can't stand it. This is not her speed doing no manual labor. She like working in an she office like where you get dressed and fly to go to work, nails <laughs> done and all of that. So this is totally out of her out of her comfort zone. Mm-hmm. So we know that Stoney got a nasty attitude now because yep. she mad because she had to be with 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 Nate. Ugh. I don't know. It just Frankie doesn't like the job. You take it from there, Miss K, because uh she had it first before. Oh, Frankie doesn't like the job. She's breaking things, all of this craziness. Um, and so as they're driving. You got Cleo saying, oh, stank, uh, Frankie back there acting all, I mean, Stoney over there acting stank and dank dank because you got the chick in the front, Frankie, complaining about her nails and all that. And Cleo was like, girl, you've been complaining all night. Like, I'm tired of this. And then Stoney back there acting all stank. So she like, you know what? I got something to fix that. We about to go up to this rooftop. Hey, listen to some bone thugs. Come into my world and you can see the young <laughs> That's one thing I feel that I'm nostalgic about is um, some of the music and like the videos that were played, you know, mm-hmm. in this for, for the soundtrack, the videos. Bone Thugs, I used to like Bone Thugs in the 90s. But anyway, so, you know, they on the roof and they doing their thing and they still bring up, you know, of course they laughing at Stoney for, I mean, at uh, Cleo saying she looked like Sugar Bear and everything when they get high. Okay. <laughs> and then we, we see that TT doesn't smoke. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, and then the other, they bring up the whole robbing the bank idea again, cause they already talked about it before when they was on sitting at the car and so he's right. like, y'all crazy chicks. Yeah. I ain't robbing no freaking bank. So they talk about it again. And here go Stoney saying it again, like, stop. Y'all need to stop talking about this. Like you're not doing that. So anyway, somebody else could go. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do, do you know that the quote that she said to the girls? About about the whole thing with the bank. What? Dustin, do you know what Stoney told them why this is this is this should this is for a good look for them? This could be done because of them. Well, her it's explaining that she, she knows. Know everything, and everything mm-hmm. she know. Yeah. Yeah, she was saying it's the perfect, it's the perfect crime or something like that. She didn't she didn't say okay. that in this time though, did she? She said it in another scene, right? I I want to say she said it in the scene before I'm going, if I'm going by my, my notes. She said it in a, when they really started talking about it, I think. Nah, not she yet. Said. She didn't say it yet. Yeah, but she didn't say it yet. She didn't say it yet. Mm-hmm. But do you know the quote? Not why, no, not quotable, no. Just paraphrase. It's the perfect crime because I know, I know it too well. <laughs> you got it. You got the perfect quote. See? What? <laughs> Be sure yourself, girl. <laughs> Talking about you don't know it. I didn't think I do <laughs> quote you, like literally. Yeah, I know look, you you always do that. See, I said I'm not gonna be hard with the questions. Oh my gosh. And you got it. Look, be sure of yourself, girl. Be sure of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord and love. Yeah, she said it's the perfect crime. This is the perfect crime. I know this too well. So she's mm. like. Two of them now are on board to do this crime. But mm-hmm. Stoney and and you know Stoney is like, nah, hell no. Right. Y'all bugging. This sound crazy. Mm-hmm. And then she, now she wanna blow it up. <laughs> she don't know what she wanna do, Frankie. Uh-huh. TT don't want to do it at all. This is not her speed. You know, she's not used to breaking new game. Now we hear who wanna you take it over, pretty girl. With this whole catastrophe that done happened. Oh my and god! This is who she made mm, it hurts my soul, child. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, Frankie, you know, she worked hard for the money. She did something a little strange for a little, a lot of change. I'm going to say, and uh, Stevie, you know, you know, confessed that you know, not only did he not get the scholarship, he didn't get accepted to the college. Um, and yeah, of course yeah. she, she is upset cause she told him like, you know what I had to do to get this money? Like, are you serious right now? And 
you know, he ends up storming out because he was on the phone with his homeboy because he's getting some celebratory champagne. And I'm like, what are you celebrating? The audacity you over here had me spend money on a party. And then you're over here getting all this celebratory things from your homeboys. And you didn't do nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You graduated, but you over here lying and keeping secrets and not being transparent. Like, that's that's real. That's too much. I'm sorry. He, he needed a belt. I'm sorry. I know he bigger than her. He mm -hmm. needed the belt, but when she, you know, when he left, she ripped up the chat, and I was like, "Girl, I know, I, I know, I know." <laughs> but we, that's what we're not gonna do. We're not ripping up that check. Like what? That, that was talking about how they need money, and she that was check so up like she ain't give up her precious body. Boy. Yeah, okay. that was the stupidest freaking thing. I can't. The stupidest thing. Oh my gosh. And the brother just said you could barely pay bills around here. How you going to, you know, do anything for cop? Girl, you could have helped. You could have paid some bills. You could have put away a stash, something. Yeah. Oh I gosh. didn't understand she that. She played herself. Do y'all know so how bad. much money Lorenz and them got? Oh no, I don't know. <sighs> nope. Oh, wait. I think you don't know. They got, they got. probably know. <laughs> no, no, no! I don't know how much money they got. They didn't get a lot, though. It was, it was no, they didn't. Change. It they didn't. Uh, it was twelve thousand dollars. No, that's how much they got. So, no. so Lorenz and them got the same amount as them that they it got 15, when they robbed I'm the sorry, first... fifteen thousand. Fifteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. They didn't get that much because um. Wait, did I write it down? Yeah, they didn't get that much. I thought they was. I thought. Being that they didn't get out, the only person that really got anything was Lorenz when he left. Mm -hmm. Now they talk, they talked about when they was hanging out at in, in front of the PJs, that everybody knew about the robbery. They knew who it was. But Stevie was keeping secrets about where he was going because he knew he wasn't supposed to be around this guy, Lorenz, because Stoney didn't like him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she already knew what was up with him, and she mm -hmm. did not like him. But he was proud of him because he was going to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, uh, I mean, for me, you know, the fact that he's like, man, hook him up. He porn and all of this. Now, listen, my thing is, she hooked him up, right? Mm -hmm. And when he goes outside, they just swarms him automatically, and it was like, did y'all? even get a Check chance it. to see what was going on like you just i mean like i don't understand that and if you look at them the other one is way bigger his was a lot smaller um stevie's was a lot smaller than lorenz's ap so it was just exactly. it was just stupid. and he's darker like it was just a lot yeah, you know it was this is it was the, careless this is where, mm -hmm. it ain't, they this is where they had a racial those. undertones though yeah yeah they, we all look alike. They saw that he was coming out of his apartment mm -hmm. and they saw the AP and they was like, you know what? That's him. Like, yeah, it's, it's so, oh, this is so triggering. Oh, yeah. Child. Yeah. That's why I don't be messing with this movie. Oh, okay. okay How many songs can you name from the soundtrack? I'm changing the mood. We got, we gonna <laughs> the mood. Oh. How many songs can you name from the soundtrack? Um, or can you name any? I could, um, not right now. What's that one that I was just singing? Um, no, both of uh, yeah, what was it lives. called? Days of Our Lives, um, mm -hmm. Missing You, yeah, um, The Most Beautiful Thing in This World, right? That it was wasn't on the soundtrack, but it was in the it was in it the wasn't movie. on the soundtrack to me. If it's nah. in the movie, it's on the soundtrack. No, I, didn't know I that. figured that too because I was huh? like, what the heck? I said, I yeah. figured that too. So if that's it, that's it. Three three songs. Yeah, I was like that too. Two songs. I'm, right, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with y'all. Oh wait, oh yeah, songs. the Invogue song. You're right. Don't let go. Yeah, that's one of my. I forgot about that. I had and three. Is songs. flashlight on there? Flashlight. Nah, I thought wow. that was gonna be on there. So I let me let's get the soundtrack, y'all, and let me see if y'all remember any of them other than that. If it plays that, that in a movie one. that's on the soundtrack, that's weird. With okay, Cleo, Angel. That like some of these songs, I didn't even, I wasn't even familiar with. Mm -mm. But I, the, um, I didn't know a lot of them songs. The, um, wasn't I didn't good. know Simply Red was on this soundtrack. Mm. Um, I did know the heist. 
because that's the one this is the ray everybody get down behave i knew i always knew that song because i seen those girls perform that song hmm. um the missing you song that's like a song everybody listens to i didn't even know ray j was on this i don't like that song Oh, yeah, I didn't Ray, know Ray J. Ray J. Was on this. Yeah, he was Ooh. on the soundtrack too. I don't remember where that. <laughs> he was on the soundtrack. It's um, hold up. The song is called Yeah, Let It Go. Mm, I have to hear that. That was him. Is it, is it like, Ray or Ray J? Like, what? No, it's Ray song J. Called Ray? Is the song no, called it's Ray, Ray J? The, the song is called Let It Go. But there's a name, it just says Ray at the bottom, not Ray J. Yeah, it just I, says Ray. I probably oh. hit the space ball the way it was. And you know, I didn't I know he was singing at that young age. Okay, yeah, I mean, he was on the he not was on the can, song. but <laughs> I, I want well, he was on the he was on Brandy's first ch- soundtrack with the um best friend, so mm. I was surprised he was on this soundtrack. I really was because I went and played it today just to be sure, so I was c- coming true with my facts. Wow. Did Babyface do this? this no, this? it was oh. um I got Christopher Young. That's the person. Oh, that, um, I see. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, I was surprised with that. I thought um I thought I I, I didn't know because he was really little then. Mm-hmm. It was a twofer. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm you gonna take my daughter. My son gonna do a song too. <laughs> Yeah, I was just crazy. You know, she mean business with her management. Look, if you take it one, you gotta take them both. You give him a song to sing. (laughs) I know you got something. (laughs) I know you got something for that boy to sing. (laughs) Rustling his papers in the studio. I know you got something. (laughs) (laughs) Oh Oh, gosh, what Luther into now? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so she said he not even. Oh, that was the first scene where he was like, "I'm docking your pay." That was yeah. that one. <laughs> I just showed that because I had the uh, soundtrack with it. But this was messed up, uh, and then yeah. with with um with it's like to me it it kind of showed the side how we how everybody says that uh L A is cor- L A P D is corrupted. Mm-hmm. And and trigger happy, yeah. Is because it's. Like, I mean, they, they was just shooting so chance. much. Yeah, yeah. They were shooting so much. I don't. I don't understand that. I never understood that part. Like, why yeah. so many shots? Why? Why does everybody have to shoot? Like yeah. for me, like y'all should have it to where you have one shooter. Like you know what I'm saying? Like all right, we have a shooter that in case anything get out of hand, and I'm in. I know that probably even sounds crazy because you don't want anybody to get shot at all. But you have a situation like this with the guy is robbing. He's a dangerous man. He has priors, all of that. He just robbed the bank. So you have one shooter. If anything goes wrong, you got one man that's considered like a sniper or whatever. He's going to take the shot. Why the heck do all of these, all the cops that's around, each cop, it's like they haven't target practice with a person. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. They exactly like where where could he go if y'all coming in from it, it was only one way in there mm-hmm. and it was only one it's only uh, okay maybe another way out a fire escape or something like mm-hmm. that but they don't even the way that situation was set up it looked like it was one way in one way out like yeah. you come out this way or or they had every exit covered so i don't yeah. see why they had to go in there with like blazing like that and mm-hmm. he was like, just wait. You know, he wasn't even trying. He, 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 I don't think he was a threat. It just seems like to me, like it was like a lot of overdoing it with with the pow powing. Mm-hmm. Brillo did send the super chat. Okay. Thank you, Brillo. I don't see him. Wait, wait. Let me look. Scroll up. Uh, what's up? Thank you, thank you, Brillo TV, Steve, Television Commission. All right. Mm-hmm. So now, wait. Let me see if I I got another question, y'all. <clears throat> okay, y'all already you already said it, but let this let the um let the um chat answer. What did Steve Stevie have on him when he was pow pow? 
Mm. You answered it already, but let's see who was listening, okay? <laughs> Flocking up. <laughs> oh, man. All right, nobody knows it. We'll move on. <laughs> Like I was trying to, I was trying to be easy with the um, with the with the questions, y'all. I'm still in shock that they wanted to up, they wanted Chili to play Stony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would have went bad. Dow M for movies got it. Champagne. Okay. Hey, and, uh, you know, you probably would have had to try to lay as flat as you could with that champagne and just like had your body all kind of humped yeah. up on the ground because child ain't well, nobody I had that coat like spread it out like wings in the uh -huh. <laughs> yeah ain't nobody was reaching for nothing child uh -huh. yeah it no. just seemed like they was trigger happy to me mm -hmm. so now three are on board with this at mm. this point now that she done lost her brother she wants to do this Mm -hmm. And this is when she says the the quote that is the perfect crime. I know this too well. Yeah. So they they right. they gonna do it. They talking about doing it, and they they're casing the first bank, which is downtown federal. Yeah. You want to take it from here, pretty girl? Let's yeah. Well, that last that. scene uh, with the you know enacting the Godfather that was my favorite scene of the movie. Um, oh yeah, we ain't I get there yet. No, they didn't get there <laughs> yet. We no, she just yet. had the pictures from it when they was. No, the that's movie. not the same one. It's not. That's the first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Okay. You're right. Okay. My bad. My bad. I forgot. To <laughs> twice. Um, but yeah, they they start casing downtown federal, which, um, obviously that's very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, ambitious. Yeah, I was gonna invite. <laughs> I'm like, that's a bit ambitious. Like, y'all get your feet wet first now. <laughs> exactly. Can we get a credit oh, union, a check cash in place or something? Ooh. Right. This looked like they one of the most- They picked the biggest one to, 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 to take on. That yes. was crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see, you know, <laughs> having goals, like maybe, you know, in the PowerPoint presentation, like, okay, this is our final stop, but- this this was very uh <laughs> this is very ambitious of them, especially not having experience. Um, but I like this scene. We see Blair Underwood, aka Keith. Um, I don't know. Looking back, this relationship seemed a little odd to me, but I don't know if we'll talk about it or not. But um, yeah, he's seeking her out. Of course, she's a beautiful woman. Um, and I do like his co-worker. He was like, Oh, Keith, I see you in your new accounts now. <laughs> He was no. kind of like throwing salt on him a little bit because um, he's a personal baker. He, he, you know, he's upstairs. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, they're casing it out. TT is hilarious. This, uh, <laughs> this scene uh -huh. for her little socks and whatever shoes that is that yeah, she should have threw away in the first grade. Girl, what are we doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, they're casing the joint and, you know, they're trying to figure out the ins and outs of this bank so they can possibly uh, rob it. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know what else to say about this scene, but yeah, it was, it was a, it was I, Look, she had me cracking up the way she was looking. Yeah, she was like behind the <laughs> little pole. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she was like, bugged out. <laughs> oh, it was All right, cute, who this pissed me off. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Um, TT, baby girl, if you was going to bring him to work, honey, you would have had to, I don't know, like, I would have had to probably tell the girls, listen, y'all going to have to do everything when it comes to, like, I don't know, chemicals or doing this, because I got to hold my baby, bro. <laughs> I it wasn't sorry. even enough time for them to um situate anything she just walked yeah. in and boom a couple minutes later it happened it was too fast that's crazy i mean but she couldn't find a whatchamacallit to put them in like you know how they be they be pushing those um them 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 barrels along or not them barrels but like, oh, like it a could, cart or something. yeah like a cart or something she couldn't put him in one of not to say you want your child to be all dirt, but line it with some do something yeah. line it with something because he he was too free yeah, she put he him on a couch. She ain't had no yeah. umbrella stroller. You know how they got them little strollers? Yeah, she ain't have no stroller to keep him locked up. Like, man, 
there was there was some there was a way around this. Like yeah. it didn't have to happen. The the biggest thing was okay. Yes, unfortunately, she had to bring the baby to work, but there's no supervisors there. You know, it's just all your girls and everything. Nobody going to snitch on you or whatever. So make make it work. Bring yeah. a stroller. Bring whatever you need to to make sure baby is not getting out. He's not doing nothing. Give him, you know, let him make sure he got his little bottle. You know, and he gotta go yeah, with not, you not, everywhere. He had bottles, all right, bottles of 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 chemicals. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and that's the yeah, thing: I, you working around chemicals, and you just let him free. Uh -huh. Yeah, it uh -huh. was so much. Neg it, it was an accident. I know she didn't mean it, but I was just pissed off with how it went down and how fast these people came. They swooped in to take this kid, mm -hmm. and I and I believe it was her first incident. But I was like, "Wow, yeah." And it's but, crazy because when she was like, "Can I see him?" They're like, "Oh, well, you have to talk to the child service." What? She can't even what? see her baby. Wow. Mm. That was crazy. They said the um. The female characters' full names are. Lita Stoney Newsom, Cleopatra Cleo Sims. Do y'all know the other one? Francesca Sutton. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You got it. And um, I don't the know the other one. Tashawn. I don't know. It's easy. She got a common last name. It Tashawn Smith. With w. It starts Tashawn with Williams. There you go. <laughs> Look, I said I'm trying not to make them hard. Look, I just want I want to have fun tonight. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> I ain't even look. People was like saying, "Look, the word scrams make them feel like school," so I had to lay off of those. <laughs> mm. <laughs> anyway, oh Lord. moving on. This gets hot on board now. Now they like, yeah, basically they convince her that this mm -hmm. is like you got no other choice now. Now you got to yeah. get down with us with this. Yeah, I um, like that the writers did that where it was like there was two people that was initially on board. And it's like something had to happen in the other girls' lives in order for them to say, you know what? Yeah, I'm down. Whatever. Like, Sony, I ain't got nothing to lose. Sure. You know, and then when it came for, to TT, it was like, okay, I need money to get, you know, my baby back. So, like, that was her main thing. For, for what's her name? I mean, obviously, what is her name? Uh, Frankie. What she mm -hmm. went through, she was just pissed. She was mad at the system, mad at getting fired, all of that. And as far as Cleo, she been ready. Yeah, yeah. She she ain't have a reason. She just she just mm -hmm. wanted to yeah. always be. <laughs> oh, yeah. go ahead, pretty girl. And this is what I wrestled with throughout this movie. Yeah, Stoney was grieving, but she really didn't have a true motivation. I feel like still, like you know, you wasn't in this. I mean, you was probably in the hood, but you was in the house. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You wasn't in the yeah. projects. You're grieving. Yeah, I mean, you. I feel like if she. I feel like she still didn't have enough motivation for me, like to, you yeah. know. But it was. Mm -hmm. go no, ahead. go ahead. No, it, I you mean, yeah, you know, she was sleeping with, you know, Nate for money, but that was for extra money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You ripped up the check, so you won that dire straits. Like I don't know. Yeah. I just felt like throughout this movie, I was just thinking to myself, like everybody has legitimate calls. Even you know, Cleo. It was kind of like she just. You know, just a rebel, okay. But right, she just I just still wrestle with um Stoney's Stony. like just just her reasonings behind. Yeah, it, you know what I'm saying. But, I get, yeah, I kind, I mean, yeah. When you think about it, that is true. Like her brother being killed is probably not enough, but maybe it's the anger. Because if you think about yeah, it too, yeah. like Frankie doesn't really have a real reason either. She's just mad. Like she's like, well, we could do this. Oh yeah, so she can't she can't get a job anymore and she can't get a regular yeah, but I'm pretty sure she could go. Frankie, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she could get a job off the books and I mean look, she got a job with, with freaking yeah, but it's not what she So wants. it's always an excuse, it's not what you know she what I'm wanted, saying? Though. But yeah. what's the name is probably on her F the police, you know what I'm saying? Like Stony, like I'm angry at F the police, whatever, sure. You know, let's yeah. do this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm that's like, how I had to not really a motive. I, yeah, so like not really the police per se. It's Maybe the law. I had to play, rationalize yeah, the it, law. Looking back, I just feel like it still wasn't enough. But I let it go because <laughs> it's a great movie. But to me, it was just like, yeah, I thought it wasn't enough for for her to be like, all right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna break the law. 
Yeah. And risk my freedom. Ain't no way in heck I'm risking my freedom for all of that. She probably, she probably was going through a thing like, I don't give a damn. Like, I did all of this work, try to put my brother through school, this and that. She yeah. probably like, sure, whatever. I ain't got nothing else to do. If I yeah. can get up out the hood, then I guess. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know. Thing. Yeah. That the wrong thing. <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Just to, I mean. But it's but true. This is what I mean. Like, about, you know, my feelings about. Yeah. Well, but when you think about it, it's really not that good of a reason. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So do y'all know how many banks they robbed in a total? I believe it's three. Yeah, I think it was three. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yep. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm being real simple right now. <laughs> real simple and easy. <laughs> yeah, easy. so the next... Wait, I got another... Uh, Trivia. Let me go to the next trivia question. Oh, it's so cute now. <laughs> to prepare for the role, Detective John McGreeley. This is the one that played uh so yeah, Sto Strode. He Strode. Pre to prepare yeah, Strode. Um to prepare for the role of Detective Strode, John C. McGreeley worked with a retired detective from LAPD. And that's why he seems he's not corrupt, but the, the rest of them, it seemed like he had to always call them off to me. Mm hmm. Is that a fun right. fact? That's a fun fact. Yeah, that's a fun fact. That's okay. a fun fact. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Queen Latifah was the jerk. first. This is a fun fact, too. Queen Latifah was the first choice to play the role of Cleo. Mm hmm. And also, it took 39 days to make this movie, y'all. Wow. 39 very days good. to make this movie under a budget of $9 million. Wow, so very this good. This was not, I mean, I, I, I believe did they did get, I don't know if they made a lot. You know, I, was, I wonder if the, uh, the, the, the actors made money off of this. Like, was this a big payday for them? Cause we we look back at some stuff, especially like this was with New Line. Friday was with New Line, mm -hmm. and we heard we from the way Friday was, they only made like what a couple of thousand, like four or five thousand mm -hmm. dollars for the movie. I thought mm -hmm. I, I thought they would be making more. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a F. Gary Gray uh, production too. Um, I know he did Friday. I feel like. A Italian job. Maybe he did a couple others, so maybe mm -hmm. you know they for this movie they was able to acquire a little more funds from Friday because I believe it may be a year or so apart in terms of being released. I don't know, but I would hope they got you know, especially probably Queen um, Vivica. I can't think if she had too many movie roles. I, I know Independence Day was like around this time, ninety five, ninety. Yeah, that's when she she was yeah. she was in a lot of blockbusters movies, and I I want to say she might have been the one that got paid the most probably out of them. I would think I, Queen Latifah or yeah. Stony. I mean, uh, what's the name? Jada, Vivica Fox. That was her. That was her movie right after. Uh, right after the Independence Day, like you said. So she was like one of the blockbuster people. As uh -uh. far as that, as with as far as that went, um, that was her second movie, her second large movie. Queen Latifah did uh Juice, and mm -hmm. it was a couple of other movies she did bef before that. So out of those two, she out of those two, and I think I believe Jada that was her first movie. Mm. Well, Menace Society. Mm -hmm. No, she was in Menace Society. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was that was her second movie. I mean, but she was doing and like. I know she was on, um, she played on what you call it a couple of times to the Fresh Prince. And she yeah. was on a different world. Low Down Dirty mm -hmm. Shame probably was. Mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. that, yeah, yeah, that was before that. Yeah. So they all pretty much had experience, but this is probably, I don't know, in the midst of their. Well, I'm just speculating. This is not a fun no, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. think. Yeah, I would think that Cleo, I mean, Queen Latifah, who is the most known. Out yeah. of all four at the time, would be the one to get paid the most. That's what I would think, especially if she was sought after for the role. Yeah, that's she what I would first. think, but I don't know. Yeah, huh? Yeah, especially if she was the first one in mind, and if Chili was 
the the first original person um uh, before Vivica or <laughs> she didn't Jada. Have no experience. <laughs> wait, wait, was she supposed to play Stony or Frankie? Frankie got though, right? You said Moochie. Well, who uh uh Chili? Chili. She was supposed to play Stony. Oh, Stony. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. think she could have pulled that off. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Mm-hmm. We never mm-hmm. look. The only thing I saw in was house party. I never yeah. seen that nothing. No, she, I don't. <laughs> I don't think she could have pulled that off, y'all. That's just my my thoughts. No, man. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, T-T. mine too. Yeah, TT. Uh, maybe not, TT. Listen, um, I don't think nobody should mess with TT. TT, they good. I'm just saying, in terms of the. No, I get, I get it, but I think <laughs> it's a good thing that we just didn't do. Yeah, with they did chili. perfect this one. Yeah. Yeah, like no chili though. No, no. <laughs> if you have not scrolled up to the top, please cast your vote. We moving on to the next topic. So now we get to where we get in the do's and don'ts of the of of. Of these height of the heights, I don't know where my pictures are. Ooh. Some of them is missing. Uh-oh. I hate when this happens. Don't you hate that? Yeah, okay. I'm like, what the heck? And then I can't see all these. See, <laughs> I got <laughs> <get some glasses. laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so <laughs> they get they get they um they go and they 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 get the do's and don'ts other other um of doing everything. But we see that uh, T- Cleo, no, not Cleo. Oh. Um, to Sean, she does. She wants no parts of that of even planning it. So she's not even in the car when they doing all of that. I have my pictures for this, and I don't know what the heck oh. happens. Yeah, but she knows right. yeah you're right you're right she already kn- they was telling her at the hospital like you know what you got to do you know what you got to do and as they all saying they're in and stuff but she went so you're right when i don't i was like why the heck is she not in the car at the time like she she probably yeah, still like, like i don't know i'm not sure what no part of this but she was there but she still was like you know helping the case the case everything you know what i mean like she still yeah. was She's too scary for me. Yeah, she just scary. I guess she just was n- mad nervous. You know, she's just like, yeah. I'd rather just stay out here and pace. <laughs> that's, I think that's what it was. <laughs> I think she just wanted to stay out there and pace. I don't know. I, I've been yeah. wondering how the heck they was friends with her. Like, not to say that she's not a nice. I I think her her character is beautiful. She has a beautiful spirit. But I'm just saying, like, how did she become friends with these young ladies? <laughs> They grew up together. She was more Stoney's friend, and then by proxy, she became a part of the crew. You know how it is when you probably got that one off friend that brings somebody to the circle. Uh-huh. Like, all right, you cool enough, girl. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's crazy because she just like, oh my god. Yeah, she's weird. definitely off all out. Yeah, because and then you know they had to meet in school, but because Stoney didn't even live in a project, she mm-hmm. lived off you know, no. the south somewhere. So, yeah. but because you said her and Cleo was friends since second grade, since her, yeah, second grade or for yeah, yeah second grade. long time. Mm-hmm. Long but they were time. and thinking about it, they I'm not, in my head now. I'm like, they not even that old. They to me, they giving yeah. off like early twenties. They in their early twenties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm saying, you know how when you still transitioning from school to you starting to work, so certain people you still be friends with around the way. Because you don't go, you know, they haven't mm-hmm. been outside of the, I th- I feel like the only person that been the furthest is maybe, maybe, um, Cleo, Frank. but, oh, Cleo and Frankie, because Frankie used to go probably two towns over to go work. Mm-hmm. I, other than that, I don't think any of them been outside of the neighborhood like that. Like mm-hmm. in the, you know, they little area. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, I'm just, that's just my thought. Yeah, that's, I mean, but I could be wrong with it. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. So now they go to the arms dealer, which is played by Dr. Dre. This was his first role in a movie. And mm-hmm. this is the uh the trivia question. Do y'all remember what type of tattoo he had? Mm-mm. Let me nope. see if anybody remember. <laughs> Do anybody remember what tattoo that black Sam had? I figure I, I know it's a hard one. 
I wanted to do something else, but I couldn't get it done. I was trying to mess with this thing where I could make it where y'all could try to figure it out, but I, I, I was having a hard time with it. <laughs> but yeah, that was a oh, tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I've oh, never seen it, but yeah. okay. okay. So he's the arms dealer, but he want to get with Frankie. Mm. And he's like, look, I'll let you have these if you let me you know, holler at your girl. And she like, no, that's Lil Fleming. But he was, she was going to, he was going to give them like a little regular revolver. And he was, she was like, no, I'm trying to set things off, brother. Yeah. Like we ain't said, robbing, robbing stage, stage coaches. coaches. <laughs> stage coaches. <laughs> the way she picked that little thing. He's like, what the heck? Like, like, we not doing that. Mm-mm. But I was feeling away. I'm like, we bargaining booty for bullets now. Like, what we doing here? <laughs> yeah, like no. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. No! Oh, I got Sorry, down. we just gonna do the interest thing, and that's it, honey. Like, no. <laughs> we trying to get. No. <laughs> trying to He's get like, yeah. Up. So let me let me talk to your friend, and let me talk to your friend. I'm like, what? <laughs> Always gonna be situation like that. Ugh, mm -hmm. so <laughs> okay. I thought I thought that was nothing what they got because you split mm -hmm. that. That's that's not 3, even the thousand. Three thousand a piece. She probably ripped up the check for three thousand. Child. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and the same check she ripped up. If she wouldn't have ripped that up, she would have had six. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to rob a bank and only get twelve thousand—that's crazy. Not worth it. You might as well went to Walmart. It's not. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not worth it. And 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 you know, once you walk in there with a with a hammer, it's over. It, it, that, you looking at a lot of years. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's a that's that's true. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm sorry. No, it was a. No, it was, no. We already know that. Um. Oh, let me get the the second set of pictures. I'm sorry, y'all. This is the last thing, so I'm gonna just get this because I didn't. Um. Did you, did you um do? Did you ask the question of how much money Frankie counted by hand for her boss? Mm -mm. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna. Be, I thought I was being too anal, so I left it out. I was like, no, nah, I, I don't want to. Like, where y'all be like, oh, come on now. No. <laughs> I ain't want to. Yeah, two hundred forty thousand. <laughs> okay, so y'all y'all remember that? Then. Damn, mm -hmm. I should have did that. Okay, okay. So uh, okay, are we going? Are we we skipping past? No, the first we we're we, we gonna we're gonna go where they had their first riff because now. You know, Cleo doesn't go back to work after this happens. Mm -hmm. They go to see her, and things kind of go sideways between her and between Cleo and Stoney. Mm -hmm. So you want to um talk about that? Who? Who? Anybody? Oh, <laughs> I'm probably just gonna say really quickly that um I thought that you know when when the I think it was stupid that Cleo thought that uh, you know she could just chill and stay away from work for, for because of three G's and she was spinning you know frivolously and stuff like that and then um, and then when when Sony was you know telling her something she was like we gonna rob another bank like what the heck you think this is and they're like we ain't robbing no other bank and then of course you you know um, Frankie was like girl yeah like that makes sense like where we. What you think you're gonna get? How far you think you're gonna get on, on three G's, you know? Um, but then we had the smack in I mean the, the gun pulling incident, which was weird. And then she deserved the smack, but Cleo could not believe it. She's mm -hmm. like, You gonna hit me? And we've been a friend since the second grade. Like, girl, you just pulled a gun on her like what do you expect is gonna happen you need to get smacked you lucky that she didn't pick up that bottle the first time and yeah. she just automatically smacked you when you put it down so that's what i gotta say about that scene cleo had a lot of nerve i yeah. was look cleo had a lot of nerve but stoney was right i don't look i don't care how far we went back and she knew that she was trying to be easy with her because she was high mm -hmm. so she was like look you real high and mm -hmm. like, like you need to stop. 
I, I, I thought it, I thought with that she was right with it. Where look, yeah, I'm gonna mm-hmm. pick up a bottle. Yeah, you think I'm yeah. not? You gotta get. You definitely gotta get your hands put. Like, are you serious? You put a gun. No. She slaps. Her, I would have punched her. Like, pick up that gun because I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I, <laughs> but this, I. You know why I like this thing though? Because it was like to me, it was real. To to me, it was real the way it went down because she was out of pocket. Very. Then talk about some. You know, right. Right. Oh, this the wrong one. Yes. I was still confused of that we robbed a whole nother bank that we didn't case. That was crazy too. Mm-hmm. They, and she was but, like, oh, they all the same. Like, she said they all the same. So she made a point with that. She was like, well, you seen one, you seen them all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, right. what? <laughs> At like, some point, I feel like Frankie was just saying, yeah, saying she stuff. Just because, like, child, we just need to get this money. Like, stop playing. As long as we got a plan. Like, you seen one bank, you seen them all. Like, really? <laughs> just remember, don't make sure they don't go to the right clip. Just make sure that's it. That's like, it. Oh, I would have been out. You know, I'm anal. I'm like, uh-uh. No. Like, this <laughs> ain't right to me. Mm-mm. Oh, God. No, but the way they were going into those banks was crazy because, like, yeah. they literally look suspicious. They put in <laughs> on the hook, they put in on the wigs as they're in the bank. I'm like, what is happening? Y'all look suspicious. I'm so mad because I had these pictures and I don't like you. I don't know what happened to my pictures tonight. Like, I remember I had, I did have some internet issues tonight, but anyway, mm. that's another discussion. In itself. Oh my gosh. Even when they went to downtown federal, they was, then they got the new situation. They stepped out of the vehicle looking it was so Look many things. Fish. It was stuff when, going on outside. Yeah. No, the worst one was Balboa savings and loan. When they yeah. went to that one, that was the one where the guy was parked outside and all yeah. that. I yeah. was like, what the heck? Y'all uh-huh. gonna get out and With still the try to do this? Yeah, they that was super that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was like, yo, you see what's going on? Like, that's something that you drive by and see what's going on and be like, oh no, we gotta keep going. It was like, yeah, yeah, like okay. So since we talking about this, where were all the wrongs with the with the second one? With the second second heist. We not talking about the first one, the the, the middle one, which yeah. which Cleo had to go in there and get them. The mere fact that they ignored that there was a whole policeman in front, of, like it's yeah. a whole like situation, yeah, before the, in front of the bank. Like, no, this is not the time. That's no, number come one. Back. Let's yeah. some lunch and come back. <laughs> That's like, just that number was... one. And then I think also that they all went in together. To me, that was like, um, I don't think you should have went in. I mean, to me, you just look suspicious. Like, let's sell, let's sell it and make it look like we're all. I mean, because to me, if I see a bunch of chicks and they have wigs and sunglasses, you look suspicious. <laughs> I mean, back then you did, but now, yeah. look, now you just no, like, look like see, an average Joe. We, no, was, we wasn't wearing wigs if like I that, see, that often. <laughs> you wasn't, but if I see wigs and sunglasses, no. like, come on now, yeah. wigs and sunglasses. So yeah. it, it, <laughs> It's like most sunglasses with the nose and the glasses. Yeah, <laughs> like, so and you, most look, so most you see people this, wear... you know something's up, y'all. Exactly, <laughs> and because most people now, when they wear sunglasses, a lot of times you can still see their eyes because it's yeah. like just like a little tint. But I mean, straight like <laughs> like these are the ones know. you need when you don't see nothing. <laughs> you can't see nothing but my reflection no. of what I'm looking at. Yeah, I mean, I honestly didn't mind about the, the Balboa saves and loan, savings and loan, but it's just the fact that they they really did they created a lot of destruction. Yeah, <laughs> yo, homeboy got burnt with the but the hibachi. He was like just rolling over the. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they did every. She robbed the she she robbed another. You know, she robbed the SUV. She robbed the man. So it was like a lot of like things going on like oh yeah. my god i mean she yeah she was car. just going in this time like yeah she, it, it seemed like each time they went to go do another one cleo mm-hmm. was stepping it up a notch mm-hmm. and, and then she just went all out but let's talk about keith now they go on a little date it, it, she's like i can't believe you so hard and you so beautiful 
But it just seemed like, did it seem like they was like mismatched? Yeah, there was a lot of secondhand embarrassment for me in, when it came to them too. Like they're just cut from two different cloths. But I, mm-hmm. I loved how he was like, he he was into her. You know what I mean? But he did seem like at one point when she said something, he was laughing. Like when she he was like I, she was like I want to go to business school. He was like oh for what for marketing for this? She's like no for typing and whatever. And he started <laughs> laughing, and I'm like, were you laugh? I would have got offended by that too. Like the heck you laughing for? Yeah. And so I like her little response too. She, you know, she was snippy with it too. Like, oh, is that not professional enough for you? <laughs> she did not hide who she was, which I loved, and I think that's she what didn't. Loved. She yeah. didn't. She didn't hide who she was, but she did talk to him about a <laughs> um a problem that she was having. What did you think of their first date that they had, pretty girl? I like, and I didn't really thought about this until I watched it recently like yes or the other day. Um because mm-hmm. she's she's that chick she's from the hood or hood adjacent but she could actually I could see it working out with them. You know what I'm saying? She's not mm-hmm. too far gone. She ain't no sexy red just trying to you know what I'm saying bag him right. like she she's a you know they they can work right you got a little but class. I don't yeah. know I just felt I don't know if it's him really trying to connect to his people. Like, it just felt too, like, he was too intentional with, like, oh, I want to go to your hood to go, you yeah. know, to the soul food. Right. Like, it's like, guy that mm-hmm. kind of lost his way, because, you know, he's an Ivy League, you know, he's suit and tie, he's been in D.C. and New York, and it just seems like, oh, initially, when they first met in the bank, she didn't necessarily seem hood or anything, but you could probably tell, like, you know, she's probably from around the way because she never really presents herself as hood. But I don't know, just something with Keith just felt a little off. Like, I don't want to say she was his little project, but it's just because I do feel like it was genuine with their feelings. But it was, I don't know, something just seems like it was too intentional with him just specifically wanted to connect with her and her people. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know, which is, even though we're the same people, but you know, like, yeah. Like he was trying to get soak the culture up on some level. I don't know. It just felt off. <laughs> it was do, probably. Do you, go, ahead. go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I got it. You can ask the question. I was going to say, say I forgot what I was going to say now. Forget it. Oh, <laughs> see, that's why I didn't want you to forget. The question. <laughs> yes. I was going to say that, Um, you know, I didn't like that too much either. But like, I think it was him just trying to make her feel comfortable. Like, you know, you don't have to, like, I don't have to take you you know, to where we can go wherever you want to go. You know, I'm I'm willing to go to the hood. I think it was just don't make that, me get ugly up in here. Like- <laughs> I right, think it was her. I think it was him just letting her know, like, you know, I'm comfortable either way, going to the hood, going to whatever, like, you know, and because he, he would turn her on, like he knew, like if this goes further, I'm gonna turn her on to the finer things in life, but I gotta let her know that I'm willing to go another route as well. Like I'm okay going, I don't want to say down, mm. but I'm comfortable in that space. You know, that's kind of what I thought. You know why? Because he didn't continue to press it. It was only that one time. Like, if he would have kept doing it and kept doing it, I'd have been like, eh, you're doing a little too much, you know. But even when he showed, when she showed up with that horrible outfit, he tried to be nice about it. But then he was like, you know what? Nah, I was lying. We got to we got to put some class on. We got to we got to put such a class on this. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. the Mexican right. food, you know. So it was like he's trying to, you know what I'm saying? So it was like he was trying to go in her culture. Yeah, we're not gonna go out tonight, this and that. But we are gonna come here. We are gonna do the Mexican food and all that. Sorry, go ahead, pretty girl. <laughs> no, no, I mean I, I get it. I don't know. It just still something just felt a little. Cause granted, he was new in town. He wanted mm-hmm. to connect, but I don't know. Just something feel a little off. And then. Frankie's a hater, low key, because <laughs> Frankie, you worked at a bank and you know this man probably. I'm sure she told you this man was a banker and you set up in this little uh little uh kimono situation. Like, come on, girl, you know that's what it, that wasn't going to fit. Because <laughs> she said, "Oh, thanks, Frankie." Like Frankie helped her with that outfit. Frankie, she you did? worked at a bank. Yeah, she said. She said, "Oh, thanks, oh, Frankie." Like, in her yeah, head. you. Mm. Yo, I didn't even know that. You, you, that's that totally went past me. Now, because she thought that was on some, like, look. Yeah, because we know Frankie know how to dress a little proper. 
professionals yeah, no. why especially with, like uh, with the banker girl right. <laughs> yeah I'm just being petty but I was just like come on Frankie come on that we got to do better but I don't know mm-hmm. I, like I said I just I don't know just something just felt a little off just a little off uh- just, a little off. I said he like wasn't that. genuine, but sometimes people, sometimes people that come from that upper echelon cloth, they have a certain agenda that they try to, they have something to prove in a sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not saying with Keith, but people like Keith. So I'm just kind of putting him in that box a little bit. Like, I, I know it was genuine. They both was, you know, rocking with each other, but I don't know. I just felt like he was just too... <sighs> I don't know. I just feel like he had a point to prove to himself, <laughs> Loki. I think it's like I think you hit the nail on the head with your first thought. That was like his pet peeve project. You know how some people be like, oh, "Look how they be like, look how I'll fix that." No, like, it just seems I'm serious. Like even though he wasn't like he wasn't mean to it, it's you know how some people take take a liking take to a liking to people where they they it was I don't even think it was that until. He that just so happened to like a girl that, she had on. He just so happened to like a girl that was from a different world. I think Torek, I like Torek's uh comment. He said he was like the kid whose parents wouldn't allow him to hang out in the hood, but he really wanted to. Like he like I'm saying, like he kind of like I said, it's intentional, not in like an a mean man, in a, you know, not in a I don't say demonic, but not in a <laughs> He's not doing it in like, a malicious, yeah, malicious. Yeah, that's what I'm looking something. for. It's not malicious, yeah. but I feel like he had it was a, a mutually beneficial situation. For mm-hmm. Yeah, that's okay, what I guess okay. I'm trying to say. Yeah, I would have definitely been like, you right, if he would have did that like a, a few times, like no, every time if we it, go if out, it, we would have been go to more than I would have thought it was like, 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 what you trying to do? <laughs> what is that? Your drinks always be looking for refreshing. <laughs> Maybe because I, I've I've seen guys like that. Maybe yeah, that's why my perspective is probably a little you bit right. Correct. You I've listen, you that. right. They do be having projects. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, so get now, out here. <laughs> projects from the projects. Okay, now mm. <laughs> Strode is on the case, y'all. He's putting everything together, and he knows mm-hmm. these girls run together. So mm-hmm. he's going to see his superior so he could go really go after Stoney. He wants to bring her in for questioning. And oh, this boy. doesn't go well with his superior. But did y'all notice the picture of Mary J. Blige in the mm-hmm. mugshot? It no. looked like her to me. I, it, it's probably not her, but it looked like her to me. And, 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 I, and I said, that. <laughs> that girl looked like Mary J. Blige. <laughs> <sighs> Where at? Look, I'm about to show it to you now. <laughs> I missed that part. Right. She, I was like, huh? <laughs> uh, that looked like look, uh, freaking what's her name? Foxy Brown a little bit at first. Yeah, that don't look like Mary to me. <laughs> and the <laughs> era. Like, with the wig. <laughs> oh, Dude, they got Cleo right here. So she knows she's got a record for, um, oh, um like, uh, Grand Theft Auto. So she's been robbing cars before. This is her MO. She does it. They got her fingerprints already. So she's on record. Nobody else never been arrested. Mm-hmm. And not did. even Frankie with all of that. They just made her lose her job and go through it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she wasn't arrested for that thing. They was just saying, we know she has something to do with it, but we can't prove it. Mm-hmm. I thought this was cute with the date where she, where she said the thing about his head and having a peanut mm-hmm. head. Good, but I, I, I like that she was she got something different like mm-hmm. she saw a different side yeah. she saw that like it was more that. to see it she never been outside of LA so I like that he was turning her on to different cultures and then the next spot that they was going to do was Italian I like mm-hmm. stuff like that even though he wasn't like people like I like the way that he was changing it up every every time they saw yeah it. every time yeah, what like you got to say, Miss Kate? Hey, I, I, what you about to say? You peep something. Go ahead. I was about to say, like, why the heck? I would have. Who? Why the heck? She gonna wear a, a jean jacket and stuff coming to this man's house? Like, if she would have been, yeah, she would have been better off wearing the sweater that he met her in at the bank. Like, what the heck? 
or he could dress really. down, or he, he could, could dress, dress down. down, right? Or he could dress down, <laughs> but he was already I dressed know. up when he got there. But honestly, like I probably was like, oh, I'm gonna go change real quick because we're not about to be out looking like this together. Like, yeah, okay. she's trying to change. <laughs> Oh he was too cute though. <laughs> you know who you remind me of, which they could play brothers in a movie, uh Lance Gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna play this real quick. In that account, because yeah, like, when you open that account, <laughs> you, remember that, you remember they used to give toasters and stuff away when you open a bank account. Mm -hmm. Uh -uh. They don't give you nothing now. No, they don't. They give you um. I begin the things in the mail like you get two hundred dollars if you sign up with direct deposit for three months. Like uh, they be trying, they still be trying, girl. You be trying <laughs> some. Like, we watch shades back. I haven't reaped no benefits in a long time. Yeah. Nah, man. They, they don't be even like, look. They be like, yeah, thank you, thank you for opening the account. They, they be like, if you refer no somebody, more. they'll give you one of them squeezy things with the bank. Information oh, on stress it. ball, stress ball, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know you get those from the credit union. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you get a lollipop. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so now mm. that um, Tashawn done got her baby taken away, we did the target practice. Um, we sort of talked about Keith. We talked about the lead. Let me go to the next thing. Hold on. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> now, with this heist, the second one, they got a lot of money from this one. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. The, this is the. This was almost. It was two hundred and fifty nine thousand, and it was seventy five thousand a piece that they were going to split. So this. this, this Mm -hmm. This was their plan. They was gonna stay. They go. They was gonna keep working for Luther for three more days, and then they was gonna leave town because they. I think Tashawn had her court date, mm -hmm. so they was waiting to get to pick up the baby and, and take care of this. But what did y'all think about they hiding spot for this money? Very stupid. But you know, even when what's the name asks why why we doing it here. Um, what's her name? Um, Titi. And then Cleo was like, it's because if we get, you know, caught up by the police, they, that's the, our homes is the first place they going to look. Oh, but it's yeah. like, y'all couldn't go and like hide out in a hotel, like way on the outskirts. Cleo, you got a car. Y'all couldn't hide in a hotel for a little while together in the outskirts. I just yeah, didn't. Me, they should have stopped working then. Yeah. Like we out, we going to hide out for three days. You, you, you can't afford a hotel for three days until it's time for her to do her thing. Like, for the money to be out of their reach and possession was just stupid. Yeah, it was too risky. It's too much traffic or, you know, just situations out of their control that can possibly happen. Like, y'all don't own this building. Y'all just clean it up right. at night. Like, right. it yeah, too, anything could have happened. It a fire, happen. you a anything. During the day with the heating, where they were like, look, we got to bring maintenance in here. And they mm -hmm. find it. <sighs> well, what was y'all take on this where they figured out this? The thing that I don't understand they... about this part is how he didn't have any more money. And, like, why does it always happen like that where people get, uh, like, over $100,000 or this and that and, like, they literally have nothing to show for it? What, he had, like, a watch or something? Like, it was oh. crazy. He didn't have really He had, he, he had a watch. He paid for that shabby hotel room. But that was $37,000. You, 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 you didn't even need <laughs> The hook, he, the, the hooker was less than. I mean, come on, like where was all the money? The That's hooker probably crazy. cost forty dollars. Somebody <laughs> probably jacked him for that, like that that uh Roly or whatever watch he had. Somebody probably really upped the price on that sucker. But the thing that was frustrating to me, like how did how did Luther find that? Like that was this kind of that like, was stupid. That was stupid to me. I, like. I want, that was That's aggravated. what I didn't understand. How did he end up finding this money? And he wasn't even watching them like that when they no. was cleaning. If him, the he wasn't watching them at that. all when they was cleaning. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was dumb. That was weird to me. But everything was just so stupid. <laughs> was y'all surprised that that TT took him out? No. That's why I said I I, I I'm a mixture between Stony and 
in TT because like if I got to do something, I'm doing it. Like, I mean, and I don't mean to say it like that, but if it comes to like saving somebody's life or something, I'm just, I'm and that that's one. what it was. Yeah. yeah. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. That's what it was. She was saving her girl's life. Yeah. And, and it even caught Cleo off guard that she uh-huh. did that. Because yeah. uh-huh. it'd be the scary ones, the people that you right. suspected that's, you know, that fight or flight. It just, mm-hmm. Exactly. And I'm fight. I'm not like, <laughs> I'm the, that's my, I'm, when it, when I'm scared, I go into fight mode. Mm-hmm. Only way I'm probably going into to flight mode is if there's I hear gunshots somewhere, but it's like, but if you're if if I'm feeling cornered, then that's like okay. it's fight or flee. Exactly, that's what they so. say. Mm-hmm. It is fl- fight or flee. So next, we see Stro. He is look. He on them. He on them. He on them. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Fuck by the hard on. He's on them, and she gets picked up. And I'm a, I'm a, um, she gets picked up and this, that whole, that whole scene, the, 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 the lineup scene that she had to participate in, Latifah did her thing with this. She was intimidating. Mm-hmm. She was believable. I'm going to let y'all go with it from there. And you could I just want to say that lineup was Fugazi, like. Typically, you have a lineup with like-minded, like, you know, people. They had a whole Hispanic woman there. Like, they was all, they just grabbed a bunch of women because they knew what they were trying to do. Right, they were the witness. Like, they knew her right there. You see her. And then the fact that that Cleo was clearly tapping. Like, I don't know, as a cop, I'm like, what is that? Like, like, what you doing? Like, I don't know. I'm just too observant. But you know, not to miss. Yeah, that, to but... me, wouldn't you get that's witness intimidation? Yeah. yeah, you mean to tell me they ain't see that? But you know what? They were so focused on having her head pointed there, they looking mm-hmm. at her. With they probably didn't even see it. Now that I think about it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seriously. Oh my gosh, yeah, she was <laughs> wild. Like, I didn't like how the other officer was like, you know, look at you know, they're both saying look at her, look at her, and all of that, and then she kind of like even pulled her up as if she looked like she was holding her hair. I'm like, what are you, or even holding the back of her shirt or something like, just like pushing her head up? And I'm like, what is that? I'm like, how are you trying to um, rough up somebody that you want to be, you know, that you're using as a witness? Like, what the heck? I'm not a freaking perp. The hell well, they know she look. She ain't a perp, but she a hoe. <laughs> I guess. That's so. right. Be... <laughs> look, you and see? Did you lying. see her hand? Her hand was like on the back of her, something yeah. looked like it was on the back of her head or something like that. So, so to me, it looked like she wasn't paying attention to this. She ain't see that because they should they mm-hmm. looking so much at her, trying mm-hmm. to get her to, 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 to say it's her. And I will I agree with you, pretty girl. It was a biased lineup where mm-hmm. she they didn't have no other choice but to pick her. Mm-hmm. But she wasn't lying because TT did it. <laughs> so either way, right. she wasn't there. <laughs> that I mean, that is kind of stupid though. That yeah and for for her to even like she should have just said no from the gate though because you know that it wasn't her that did it so mm-hmm. that it was stupid i don't know unless because i have to replay the scene unless she was so scared and not paying attention to who did it yeah i can't true. remember the actual scene but regardless mm-hmm. that, that was that was all she did was this is thought for insurance baby so mm-hmm. she know it wasn't her they, Cause they all talked about it, and then you know she she knew it was her. She knew it wasn't her, so she was yeah. telling the truth technically. Right, right. Oh, that is I crazy. This. Maybe she, and Atlanta. the fact the only thing that makes me feel like maybe she did. Um, the other the female cop she probably saw when Cleo tapped on her pocket. Because she was like, you think you real cute or whatever, right? When the lady left. But I'm like, if that's all you have to say when somebody goes like this to their pocket, like what, you know what I mean? Like, like you said, why didn't you go say what's in your pocket? You know, mm-hmm. like she was in their custody. So I don't know, child. So now that they got twisted. <laughs> Maybe, wait, hold on. Maybe it wasn't in the pocket. Maybe she was just tapping it as a reminder. Yeah, she like, was just tapping remember? it, just like yo. Remember what I did? Remember exactly. What I got? Remember we got. I, your I feel stuff. like she had that same outfit on though, and with, with with Luther. Like I feel like it was the same. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I remember thinking like it's the same same actual shirt. 
True. Could be, she could have. She could have emptied the look, pocket. I think we could. Would have been stupid to show up like should be walking around with the pocket though. Like I mean, with the pocket with the um the light. It is the same shirt. Yeah. It is the same shirt. Walking, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. well, it looks the like same it's shirt. You right. Darker. Girl. I can't tell. It's, 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 it's dark because the lights are the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, booby? <laughs> what can you read his comment? Because he was saying something about the lineup. Oh, he hey. said it was funny. <laughs> yeah, it funny was. Oh, okay. Hey Dario. <laughs> hey Dario. What's up, everybody? Okay, Kelly, I knew somebody. Had. The lineup scene was a classic. My acting coach taught us about acting without words are the strongest scenes. Yeah. Mm. That, and you know what? It wasn't no words in there, but she was intimidating and she did look scary. It was it, like she, mm -hmm. she let her know a mean business and she didn't say any words. You're absolutely right. Mm. She scared me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying so, I don't know nothing. Mm -mm. <laughs> So they gonna pack their stuff and get out of here. We're getting up to the last part. What the last bank they're gonna do is the one that's worse because it's the furthest away from the highway is a is a mile long. Mm. And Frankie tells them that no one has ever robbed this bank successfully. So why would you even take them? Right. Why would oh, this be your first God. bank to go to? And why would you take them to this one? <laughs> Because they could get the most amount, y'all. Yeah. But that's being greedy, right? Because the whole point is let's get out of town. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Even if you could go and get another 200000 or however much to split amongst yourselves, why do you have to go that hard to, like, get, like, what y'all trying to do? Get a million apiece? Y'all was happy when y'all got $12,000 to split amongst yourselves. So I know daggone well, you know, coming from where y'all from, you will be happy with, you know, Come on now. A few I, think, I think at that point, yeah, Vivica was kind of beyond herself at that point. She was, she she wanted to get back. And I think now yeah. she was like the greatest, sweetest revenge to her to get the, you know, to do the thing nobody else was ever able to do. Yeah, she really right. was. Yeah, so was the take for this was 500,000. They, mm -hmm. they said if they get to this bank, that's the most they could get. And I believe that's like what you said, Miss K. The greed got them. Mm -hmm. and, and I won't even say all of them. I'll say it's Frankie and Cleo. The, the degree got to them. Because mm -hmm. you heard, I think, Frankie, I mean, Stoney saying, no, don't get greedy. Come on. Like, you know, exactly. and then, but it took too long to get out. And then that's when folks was coming, the cops was coming mm -hmm. in and everything. It was like, oh my gosh. If they would have gone. To, and the detectives were there to tell this bank, look, we had a rational bank robberies in the area. We feel like your bank <laughs> might be targeted next. And these are the women that's doing it. And no. there's a possibility that they have somebody that's inside the bank. What did y'all mm -hmm. say? What was y'all What was y'all thoughts when y'all saw Keith's face when he saw mm. and he recognized oh Stone, y'all? Yeah. When I initially thought to myself like if they had a part two even though we know at the end and he still is a banker it was to me it was kind of would have been like a 360 moment kind of like how frankie was kind of innocent like when they said they could have somebody on the inside mm -hmm. i was possibly thinking maybe his co-worker or somebody recognized him with stony previously Mm -hmm. Or in her coming in the bank because you know she was casing the bank and they was talking, so that's what sparked in my head. Like, will he, you know, be looked at as the inside guy? Because coincidentally, you leave when they come in, you have a relationship with this woman, and you know, we saw from the beginning of the movie, uh, Frankie was the innocent one, but she just and happenstance knew the people that was robbing the bank. So, I thought possibly. That's the route that they could have gone. <laughs> um, it's mm -hmm. blaming Keith, you know, as being a part of it, but they didn't take that, and I, I, I wouldn't like that anyway. But yeah, it, his heart dropped when he 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 recognized. Uh, yeah, he, so. he was kind of like taken aback when he realized, yeah. like, damn, this is my girl that did this. Mm -hmm. This is my lady friend. I felt bad for him. 
I felt he was kind of a little bit kind of intrigued too, just a little bit. <laughs> of course. You, you know when he was really what what moment he really was intrigued, y'all? When? when he found out when he when she when he got the phone call. That mm. was the crazy part. Like yeah. that phone call changed everything. When she was when, when they when she called him and was like, I need you to meet me at the soul food restaurant and I I I. Mm -hmm. I was he like, asked man. why he asked he was like why baby then he caught himself because he saw he like oh shoot she about to rob this and look listen look I like I like Keith's stance on this I'm sorry like he's like I'm not I'm just gonna I'm not asking no questions I'm going where she's telling me to go he said you be there right she took him out of harm's way and then um <laughs> I I just love the fact that he didn't snitch or nothing like that. Like he was just like, yo, no. what the heck? He, he was like, you better beat it. Yeah, he had a lot to deal with in that moment. Like it was like, yo, are and you I don't even, even, sorry, go sorry. Ahead. I just didn't think it was even harm's way. He she didn't want him to see her that way because he's upstairs with the big wigs. He wouldn't have been affected <laughs> anyway. It's but, but you never know what you know, you never no, you're right, you're right. Know. Um, I, mean, I would rather get out. No, just did, I like what she did. Yeah, I just definitely get like out. what she did. But she said in five minutes. So I was supposed to get to my, my workplace that's probably downtown to the hood in five minutes. Right, in five minutes. I guess they was right there, but yeah. That was yeah, crazy. He knew, because her sense of urgency, like she was... Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. And he was just waiting, looking at his... All right, so this is, this thing is the last... Rob. <laughs> This is the last thing. I know, look, we've been here almost almost two hours. I didn't even know we was here that long. <laughs> That's not even a part I wanted. <laughs> this is when I was, like, loving Latifah. I'm sorry, because she, when she did that and slid and grabbed the money, I was like, okay. But then it was like everything hit the fan at once. They got to get out of here. Tashaun is hit. And they got to switch cars, and they got the law after them. Mm -hmm. What's up? You you go you go from there. My adrenaline's pumping. I wanted I want them to make it, and that with her getting away from with her peeling out and backing up and getting away, that was my favorite scene out of all of it. What are y'all? What is your take on the whole thing from now to the end? We're gonna wrap this up. Cool. <laughs> I wanna Booby says, can you highlight his comment? Because this is a <laughs> this is interesting. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Hold up. My this eyes the last one. Me. That ain't your girl, bro. Yo, you was up. She used you. He kept up, kept it a buck by not snitching. So wait, wait. She didn't use him. She didn't yeah. use him. It just look, he just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. He pushed mm -hmm. up on her. She right. didn't and ask he... him nothing about the bank. Sure, right? Yeah. She didn't ask him nothing about the bank. They and... talked nothing about that. She just said she was trying to open an account when she met him. Yeah. It and she really so happens... wasn't. Yeah. And well, she sorry. really wasn't trying to go to downtown federal uh -uh. at uh -uh. all. She didn't want to hit up that she bank really at go. all. And she was crying. Remember after, you know, he hit them skins. She was crying when she was kind of crying when she was leaving because she I think she knew she wasn't going to see him anymore. She, the, the plan was to leave town. Mm -hmm. And he was saying, you know, stay with me or whatever. But like she just reached and she even told him, like, you know, I want you to know that like this is I've never felt so special in my life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it, the, the problem with this relationship is that it came too late for her. You know, like if it if she wasn't into bank robbing, mm, something could have happened. Him. You if know, she had a yeah. hobby, <laughs> right? But she had to. She knew that the ultimate goal was to leave town, and he mm. couldn't have been the ops because you know he just was a banker. She yeah. was, and he wasn't a cop. Nah, but I just wanted to. That was an interesting, you know, take on it. So take I just on it, to, right? Yeah. <laughs> that, but as far as what everything else that happens wrapping up, I think that it was very stupid that they got all the ladies to pretty much surrender and get ready to put their guns down. And then you have this stupid security security guard coming out of nowhere. Like what would possess you to come out of nowhere and shoot the, somebody? Mm -hmm. 
I'm a lost girl, by that. When you talk about the racial undertones with this. Yeah, but it's like you have audacity because clearly you have two experienced officers, you know, de-escalating the situation, and then you just come guns blazing like that makes zero sense. Like that was crazy mm -hmm. to me. That was no. But the only thing I would say, the only bright part, which it ain't, I mean, other Stony is is free in Mexico somewhere versus in in prison. That's the only that's the only good part of him being reckless. But still, mm -hmm. it would have just been everybody else in prison. You know, all of them in prison. Right. Versus, I would fail that. But it, that was so stupid. That that pissed me off. And they watched him too. That. Like they watched him come through, like running. What yeah, are you running he's for? In front of them. Yeah. What are you running for? Like there's literally nothing going on here. Nothing. Like they're putting their guns down. If anything, Stro should have been like, you better stand down right now. Like, how the heck are you coming over here doing anything? Oh, my gosh. That was so irking. That was, yeah, that was a mess. The stupidest thing to, to witness. This was messed easy. up. It yeah. was messed up with, 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 with how she how she got taken out. Yeah, but yeah. I I, it, it, I didn't understand. Like, I was like, he stepped in front of him like that. Like, he stepped in front of both of them, like, Okay, I know you trying to talk her down, but let me pop these three. Yeah. Are you serious? Right. I'm so glad he got lit up after that. That was a yes. stupid move. <laughs> yeah. Worst I was move glad. Like she, she gave it to him too. Is that the <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> good for him, punk. They knew that this was gonna be a a a, a, a tight thing because they had to. Uh, what they said it was a mile from the um highway, mm -hmm. so they get to the car, but Tashawn doesn't make it, and now they got the helicopters and everything chasing them. And yeah. and, and once it gets there, you know it's over with, right? But she, was, she they, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Finish. No, no, no. Go ahead. Sorry. I, okay. I'm sorry. That part when they when the the helicopters was like, remember when they got to the tunnel and then she was like, "We need to leave." I'm gonna, you know, basically she's gonna make a distraction for them. But I'm like, girl, you. I'm sorry, but like if they're all going on foot going this way, you need to. For, she should have put the pedal to the metal on in that car and jumped out the freaking car and let the car keep going. Like Heck that's yeah. what I would think. Like I'm not, I'm not going through that, y'all. Because how are we gonna get through this? There was no way. Yeah, she probably thought she was just gonna be. I think she knew she was. Yeah, because yeah, go she like because as Cleo like as she had, as I'm she sorry. told Stony, I don't even care about a five year plan or four exactly. Whatever. So yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, I think she knew knew from there like she mm -hmm. wasn't gonna make it. So she just was like, y'all, I'm gonna catch up to y'all later. I promise. Even though she knows she it was a promise she couldn't keep. Yeah, yeah that was so sad. Oh my god. She strikes me as one of those people that rather go out versus going to prison. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what I, I I agree with you. I think she was like, I ain't going. You know how somebody somebody be like, I can't go to jail. Mm -hmm. I ain't yeah. going to jail. So it's not look. happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She so she. She they they split up. I, I, I was like, this is when I started crying because mm -hmm. I was like, Dad, they gonna split up. So now you know it's not good from here. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. it's like you know they're gonna get her, but the way Cleo went out, it was that was bad to me. It was sad, but it, I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, but I like I, it. the way it was put together with the music and everything, mm -hmm. it, it, it it made you yeah. really still look at it and be emotional with it. Mm -hmm. And that's where that's where it got me with that. Like, like it had your heart in it. Yeah. Even even you know, you know she's doing wrong, you still wanted her to survive. I feel like this was her, the, the scene from for her final scene, that was where. I felt like she deserved the Oscar for that. I remember back then they were saying that that when it, when the movie was hot, they were saying that she should have won an Oscar for it, but it wasn't even nominated. But you know how that goes. Mm. I've, um, that's another discussion in itself. <laughs> but um, the the next person to get caught is Frankie. And when they split up that last time, 
it was an ironic thing, an ironic way of how she gets caught. But I think she knew she wasn't going to make it from there either. She had to. <laughs> to think that you was going to run for your Yeah, cop, turn your back, your back for a whole bunch of... It, 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 they already took out the, the first person. What What did you think? But I guess yeah. she felt like, look, I know I'm going to go out like that. But how did they catch you, you, though? Like... <laughs> Huh? I, don't know, I just I found it problematic. Like, girl, was you running in the middle of the street? Like, I don't know. I just felt like she would have been more like, I don't yeah. know. It, it looked like she was like, running in the middle of the street when they caught her because she was getting ready to make it to the. Well, she was. Yeah. Oh, I'm she saying before to the that because we kind of caught when she was. We the they, the scene starts when she's already caught. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like from the time she split with uh Stony. Stony made it on the bus. Right. Like, what did you do, uh, Frankie, to get to the point where you got all these where cops? Like, you. like, you know, I feel like she wasn't hiding well enough. For right. Her. I don't know. Nah, she you wasn't running in the with shadows. all these lights is? It seemed like right. she was like in a well-lit area. Yeah. Because Stoney had came off on the side, you saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They should have just stayed together if that's the case. If they literally ended up at the same bus stop, what are we separating for? <laughs> of course, Come they on. didn't know that, but... That would have been well, perfect. <laughs> do y'all know what things went wrong? I know you said they by being greedy, but what other what other mistakes did they make with this final robbery? Did they ever catch the fingerprints from the CD? Because that always aggravated that's, me. That, that so aggravated me. That 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 I, I, that's the part I wanted you to mention too. Because it I was like, it. oh wait, the last every time other time she had gloves on. This last time. Like, yeah, she she's stupid. She created an mo like in her crimes. Mm -hmm. Like it was just always. I don't want to yeah. listen to this. I don't listen. It was stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you yeah. doing, dumb yeah. dumb? <laughs> and I feel like for that last bank, they needed more people, man. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> at least one more person. Like, it was too like, much you, ground you, to cover. You can't go back to Acorn Projects and get nobody. I no. wouldn't get nobody from there. <laughs> mm -hmm. the 20 people gone because they was he was yes like, so many mistakes hey monique <laughs> it's uh, the biggest mistake was just going to that bank really mm -hmm. and the crazy thing is you know they literally just missed strowing them mm -hmm. like yes. just missed them so it's kind of like y'all just really wasn't paying attention or nothing like you just it was crazy how you didn't see the truck go past with the siren on it yeah, I don't like when you driving, you're not paying attention, and you get ready to do a jokes. Mm -mm. And, and that's why they needed more people because somebody was able to trigger the sign of the alarm. Y'all didn't have eyes on all the tellers because mm -hmm. that bank is huge, exactly. Yeah, they should have went out of town or something to rob a bank. Yeah, Heck oh, yeah. No. they could have did <laughs> like, so many different things, they could have left mm -hmm. town and went somewhere else to rob a bank. But these are those girls that never been outside of LA, so now the, we understand why. Yeah, and the number one thing is what was what this so uh Cleo say? She say we hot. So if you hot, why would you rob another bank, especially in your like in your in close vicinity or whatever like why would you rob another bank these guys are on to you they know how you look and all that they're looking for the sunglasses the smartest thing that they probably did was switch up on the disguises but it was still dumb to rob a bank at this point y'all just gotta go and they yeah. was having a whole meeting in the restaurant why y'all ain't go to cleo's garage to reveal the new yes movie? like she was like here you go guys like this <laughs> they go i'm like what like, why are like, you public with all this yeah, so and then it's they like, dined oh, so we and be, dashed. Yeah, so we're gonna be like, dashing. So we just out here, you know, just creating all kinds of crimes. Bank oh robbery, dine and dash. I do not want those. Two. Uh uh, like what are we doing? <laughs> oh, another question, y'all. Do y'all think they could have did a part two with this? Uh, I don't know if I would be interested. Yeah, I don't know how because everybody was gone. Everybody's dead. I, yeah. No, I, I'm saying I, like with them, with her being on the run and stuff. I don't think she would oh. want it that. She lost too many things to kind of yeah, go back. Yeah, to want to be doing nothing. I would love to see her, you know, reunite with I Mr. Know. Man. That's what I was. That's what I, I was trying to see if y'all was gonna go there. That's, that's all I, all I would have wanted to see. That's all. That's all I wanted to see if he was. She was gonna reunite with him mm -hmm. because he, was, he let her get off. I'm still paranoid because I'm like, why did they got these phones? Maybe tapped. Like we can't be talking on the business phone. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for the super chat, booby. He said that bus scene was the goofiest part of the movie. He looked directly at Stoney and ain't fed, ain't no, you know, ain't, ain't no, no fed letting you go me. after that in real life. What's the procedure? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you could you could count, of course, in real life. Yeah, in real life, of course not. But like in, in his situation, he felt bad for what he did. He probably mm. felt like, all right, the least I could do. Cause we don't kill your brother, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and and he knows that that they're initially good people, like you know they're not criminals mm -hmm. and everything. So it's almost like he probably feels responsible for turning her in, you know, making her turn to this lifestyle, so to speak. I don't know, but I mean, hey, I I respect his accountability, brother. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I just wanted her to duck a little more because I'm like, girl, well, you he, you he was. You she, was like, like, she was getting on the bus. No, my thing is she takes her hat off and then she's she like him right down making eye contact. No, boo boo, I'm gonna make eye contact with you because I don't know if you feel like you owe me. I'm exactly. you ain't gonna see me. Yes, yeah. she looked him right in the eyes. He looked her in the eyes, but I guess he like yo, all her friends is gone, her brother's gone. Mm -hmm. And but you wanted Terrible. this case, you knew they ran together, which you should have just let them go from the get go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What you got going on on your channel, pretty girl? Uh, you know, BMF, a uh, pretty thorough podcast. And, uh, you know, we'll be diving into uh, book two shortly. So stay tuned. All right. And what night is your mm -hmm. podcast? Please tell the audience. Thursdays at 8.05. <laughs> and what you got going on, Miss K? Just BMF on Friday and Sunday. All stay right. tuned. Midnight right, on so Friday, actually, it's technically Saturday, and then on Sunday, we're back with the you know, the scratch of my head, least favorite moments, and all that about this hideous show. <laughs> all right, so stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll be doing, um, at a, at 10 15, we'll be doing Bay of Kingstown, it's episodes three and four. I mean, I'm four and five, my bad. No, I'm well. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Please keep your notifications on. Um, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm gonna close out this poll, and then we out of here, y'all. So <laughs> this was the poll, the poll question: Do you think Most Queen Latifah saying. deserved an Oscar? Seventy three percent. Oh well, let me see. I'm closing it now, and it's seventy three percent said yes. Twenty eight percent said no. A total of forty eight votes. Thank you. I guys. said no. <laughs> you said no? Yeah. Um, I love Queen Latifah and I think she can act amazing. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like she was comfortable in this role because this is who she really is. So I don't think you deserve exactly. Oscar for that. But that was <laughs> but, but I, when this was going on, I'm going back in the time. Mm -hmm. That's when everybody was saying it because it was like insinuated but they really didn't know and then yeah after, that's when the rumor started yeah because when you see the paparazzi you ever see her with the you know when the paparazzi be uh taking flicks of her she looked just like cleo mm -hmm. she not she's not a cover girl she's now she's well, she not hiding it just room. like yeah she's literally just like cleo so and she was one of my first celebrities i saw a person really was, so was she nice i didn't get I'm a little triggered. So we was in Pan Pan. You remember Pan Pan? Um, well, you may not. But it's a famous soulful restaurant next to Harlem Hospital. My grandma mm -hmm. used to always just take me there. I was like eight or nine. And we was at the little bar. It's the same uh, restaurant that's in Alicia Keys' You Don't Know My Name video. Mm -hmm. um, but in a back corner, this was like around, I think this is the beginning of living single. But she had a hat on, a little ponytail. And my grandmother was like, oh, look, you know, there's Queen Latifah. And I was like, oh, God. So I literally was about to get up and dart to her. And she pulled me back. She was like, no, no, no. You could tell she doesn't want to be bothered. Like, mm. let her be. And I held a grudge from, from my, like, I didn't want to talk to my grandma for like five years after that. I was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> she did not let me get her autograph. I was so pissed off. But now I understand as an adult, you know, because, you know, New York is like a different vibe when it comes to celebrities versus like a L.A., you know. They just mm -hmm. want to, you know, you want to, you just want to chill out. But at that time, I was so pissed off with my grandma. Yeah, they do so probably crazy. act like they don't want to be bothered in in New York, huh? 
Yeah. I don't know because I, I saw the lady in more battle blue. Um, she was in Jungle Fever too. Remember, she was the waitress in there when um mm. in Jungle Fever, Queen Latifah. Uh, yeah, she remember. was the waitress when they went in the restaurant, and then you know it was like a whole thing because he brought the white girl uptown in Harlem, and there was like a big deal about it. That's what made me remember when you mentioned the restaurant. Oh, I don't remember mm. that thing, but yeah, I was. <laughs> I mean, she didn't like mm. say like she didn't look like she didn't want to be bothered, but you can you know when they kind of in the corner. Yeah, she's you know. trying to. My grandmother yeah. cute, but I was right. too young to understand. But she was just like, uh, uh, it's Queen Latifah. Right. <laughs> I remember I saw that we saw the lady walking, the lady that that was the one that played. She was on New York Undercover, the girl, the the Puerto Rican girlfriend. Oh yeah, oh, and then she just played. Yeah, she just yeah. played on you know Ghost. Um, mm -hmm. she was walking. We saw her in Manhattan one night walking, just walking with her little boyfriend holding hands. And we were saying, Oh, that's a lady from New York undercover. This and that. She looked like she did not want to be bothered at all. He was like, Ew, she can't even <laughs> say hi. What the heck, disgusting. Anyway, oh gosh, <laughs> oh well, some people are jerks and some people are not. <laughs> hey, Terry, we done now. We get ready to get in here. <laughs> All right, yeah. so um, everybody, you, please be sure to follow their channels. If you are not subscribed to their channels, their links are in the description. And I want to thank everybody for coming. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Oh, dang, my eyes is bad tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, Kelly, Matthew, Booby Trash, Monique Nicole, Candy Love, Rashandria. Suburbia Jones, Daria, thank you so much all for coming. Thanks for coming out, y'all. God bless and have a good night, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>